The Foreign Minister of Venezuela, Delcy Rodriguez, said Colombia is issuing statements that are a combination of inaccuracies, falsehoods, and confessions of the state supporting crimes at the border. She called on Colombian President Santos to be brave and diplomatically resolve the border issue in a meeting with President Nicolás Maduro. Shortly after being sworn in as president caretaker of Guatemala, Alejandro Maldonado asked all cabinet ministers and top government officials to hand over their resignations. Former Guatemalan president Jorge Serrano, who was driven from power in the 1990s, warned that the current corruption scandal that has led to the downfall of President Uto Perez is only just the beginning. More than 3 million Hondurans are facing hunger. This is because the country is affected by its worst agrarian crisis ever. The government blames the drought for the crisis, though the campesinos say that unfulfilled government promises and commitments are to blame. Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Syrian President Bashar al-Assad is ready to hold snap parliamentary elections. Assad told Putin that he is open to sharing power with a healthy opposition.